Hello, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit tonight about um, some ideas about the effects of technology on our community and other communities, uh, 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 but specifically uh, for religious Satanists, um, but this does actually extend to other Satanists too. Um, We do live in a, in a society now which is uh, very much dominated by the internet and by virtual media and the availability of information in various forms. Um, some sources better than others, uh, but there's a lot of information which is available for free. There's a lot of association which can be uh, made superficially uh, really uh, very quickly and instantly. Uh, on uh, things like social media, uh, but which is also uh, instantly dissolvable. And uh, I think this has an actual quite, quite a, um, a negative effect upon us as, uh, as people trying to form community. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to claim that we are community uh, when, uh, you know, what we do is just meet on Facebook. Yeah, there's, there's a certain amount of uh, the personal connections, I think, uh, personal connections, I think, do count as part of, of, of community because you actually have interaction between real people, which is one to one. Uh, but things like social media are a very different, uh, a very different matter in general. Uh, now, I think what this has done is get us into very bad habits and. Uh, Younger Satanists who have grown up with this uh, <clears throat> are, are probably going to be especially uh, disadvantaged by this because they they don't know so much about what the alternatives are. They haven't really um, experienced them as necessary. Um, we've got this idea that we can have a virtual community and that we can have virtual associations and you can just set up something on Facebook or set up something on a website, and that's it. There you go. You know, uh, so people come up with uh, you know churches, traditions, covens, which are online but don't have a real life equivalence, and they think this is actually the real thing. But it, it's of course it's not. Um, similarly, uh, whereas one, upon one, at one time people actually. Uh, would have had to make personal contact with people, go and find them somehow, write letters to them. Um, nowadays, uh, that happens less because people are easy to find, but the, the, the connections made are more casual in many, in many senses. Um, another thing is that in terms of the search for uh, our path, um, uh, I think we've lost a lot of the atmosphere around it. We've lost a lot of the sense of a quest uh, because it was once that you had to go go into uh, into what what appeared at first to be uh, something of a void and then look for the tracks, look for the traces, try to follow them up, go to bookshops, look for books on things, uh, look for old books, find whatever you could, research meticulously yourself and come to your conclusions and then go forward. And, uh, and and try and find a way that way. Uh, nowadays, people have a very, very, uh, a much easier, a much easier path in some ways, in that there's so much that's available and so much that's visible. But unfortunately, a lot of it's superficial and a lot of it uh, uh, demands very little of a person uh, in order to make contact, in order to find it. So the entire uh, question of the hardness of the work and the uh, struggle to actually make a quest has been dismissed as almost antiquated. And uh, this is just uh, not the case at all.
what you get is easier to get, but it's not the same thing at all. Uh, so that's something on the one hand. And on the other hand, when people are looking for information, uh, they don't even uh, any longer seem to think that they actually have to buy things. They just seem to think, well, look, I tell you what, I'll go and find some free downloadable PDF or what have you, and I can just get the book for free and look at it on my on my phone. Uh, now, I'm afraid that doesn't work. Yeah, you need to you need to actually expend effort. And if people are producing books, you're meant to be paying them for it. Otherwise, you are simply taking from the people who've done the work and not giving anything back. Yeah, you're calling yourself a Satanist is not giving back. Uh, people who are actually still publishing stuff need to be paid for it. If you're downloading something for free, which somebody else has put work into producing, then you are ripping them off. It's that simple, really. And if you don't have the money to buy the books, you're going to have to find a way to save the money. That's how you do it. You know, this is how people have always done it. It's how it's meant to be. Um, because that's part of your commitment. Your commitment is finding things in real life. Your commitment is getting things in real life. You commit, your, your commitment is uh, getting the stuff that you actually hold in your hands and have worked for, and then digesting it, working with it, and making something of it. It's only by that connection, which involves both the body, the mind, and the emotions or heart, that's the only way that knowledge becomes your own. You need to do that. And that's the way you also develop an instinct for things. That's the way you pick up trails. That's how you actually start to unravel the mystery. If all you do is uh, get free stuff and rifle through it and then do a pick and mix, uh, then you're, you're not doing anything. It's like getting loads of ingredients and then shoving them together, putting them in the oven and not switching it on. It's not going to work. You're just going to get out exactly what you got from somebody else. You're not going to get out what you put in because you haven't put anything in. So I think these things are, are, are quite important to remember. Um, now, another issue is that uh, with the way that we have approached Satanism in a lot of ways, and this is partly due to uh, the influence of uh, uh, a newer wave of atheistic Satanism and its view of things. Uh, we seem to think that uh, uh, there isn't very much need to actually behave as a community. In other words, we think we're a community because we were subscribed to something or we belong to uh, a mailing list, or we have actually joined an organization that we never meet, but that sends us just material by correspondence. Now, this is no substitute for face-to-face -face instruction um, and for uh, where you have an initiatic uh, organization for face-to-face -face initiation. It's just not the same. It can't be the same. You need work, you need real people, you need real life, and it's getting through these uh, limitations and restrictions and doing this work, and I want to stress the word work over and over again here, is by doing your work, your sweat, your struggle, your boredom, uh, your difficulties, uh, your obstacles, it's through getting through these things that you make a path, otherwise you are making nothing that is going to last. Um, and so, but once we get to the point of having community, in whatever sense it is, if it's two people, if it's three people, if it's 50 people, yeah, we then have to think, how do we behave as a community to each other? Yeah, and this is where things like values come in. We need values. Every community needs values and it needs to stand by those values. And that means making sacrifices. That means not just doing what's convenient. It doesn't mean just, mm, just making stuff up because it sounds good or makes you feel good. 
and and then you know putting it on a website that doesn't do it so um and i know that these things are all hard but they're meant to be hard but the thing is we won't get anywhere unless we work at them and we work on them you know uh so uh if you want to form a religion if you want to be part of religion and form a religion and build a religion you have to act like you're in a religion and you have to act like it means that uh like it's not just a philosophy uh, but that it is also at your religion and it's your your people and you have to work on that basis that's if you want to form a religion if what you want is just a lifestyle or a philosophy then you're probably pretty well catered for uh but as far as i'm concerned that isn't real satanism not as far as i'm concerned and other people disagree and that's fine they they can they can do their thing uh but i think these things are something that we uh certainly need to ask ourselves about and we need to do something about as much as we can you know um and people lots of people find themselves isolated lots of the people find themselves alone i completely understand that uh, i more than understand it i've i've uh, i've spent most of my life there really in many ways uh, apart from when i've practiced with my husband um or I, when i was used to be a heathen uh but um uh you can still do things yourself that's true and you do need to do things yourself but uh the point is make it real you know if you're going to produce things actually draw them actually write them see if you can get things published um you know uh frame things you know uh put things out make jewelry make stuff you can hold in your hands and that somebody else can hold in their hand something that go can go from hand to hand that is the stuff of culture yeah not stuff that flits across a computer screen that is not culture i'm afraid uh that is entertainment and uh, and i think we need to uh, uh, stop treating entertainment as reality and stop treating the virtual as uh, the flesh and start actually doing the real thing no matter how small it is a little bit of the real thing is better than this deluge of unreality uh, and those are just my thoughts for tonight thank you